Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products and focus. So overnight we saw most global equity markets drift that a little bit lower. Uh, actually a little bit of a doji formation at the bottom of the US 30 at potential support 17747. Uh, and we also had comments from the Bank of Japan last night. Um, the governor of the Bank of Japan basically said that we yen weakness, um, the exchange rate between the dollar, he doesn't expect to go that much further. So he's in quite a big turnaround in dollar yen, but we'll come back to that in a second. As you can see there, the breakout of the UK 100 continues um, quite aggressively to the downside. 66.86 is the next potential support level there. Um, crude oil's ticking up, gold's ticking up. Uh, commodities actually doing okay um, as the dollar begins to lose a little bit of momentum. Across the other FX pairs, we're seeing the actual dollar take a bit of a back back foot, um, which would be quite interesting considering all the comments about the uh, interest rate decisions um, for September, other macro data coming out of the US, etc. etc. So, looking at Japan 225, um, negative day yesterday, close closed on support. Um, volatile session today capped the 21 period SMA. A lot of uh, Asian markets are actually taking up a little bit on the back of um, the inclusion of uh, the potential inclusion anyway of uh, the Shanghai stock index and other Chinese stock indices in um, big global tracker funds uh, which a lot of pension hedge funds um, have access to. That would inject about another $400 billion into those markets. Uh, but they're not doing it yet, but they're going to review it. And it's very likely in the future that they will. Uh, bear in mind how important um, Chinese equities are probably going to be to the um, to the global economy going forward. So that has uh, given Japan to do five a little bit of an extra uh, boost. Um, but that dollar yen exchange rate is really going to hurt Japan 225 if we see anything uh, too aggressive. So let's have a look at the FX pair right now. You can see the downwards action that we had right there. Uh, that was mainly overnight, so smashing below 124.42. 121.87 is going to be the next potential support, and we have just bounced off that 21 period SMA. So it does give us a little bit of extra breathing room. It needs to come off a little bit anyway after soldiering on so quickly. Um, in such a short space of time so um, but this is quite an aggressive negative candle to have especially after a doji formation the day before so from a technical perspective pressure remains and obviously those comments it's just ver verbal intervention by the Bank of Japan um, they're not saying they're going to be doing anything but just that they believe that the exchange rate against the dollar had already reached a potential peak